Hello, this is John testing the sound. I know we are live on YouTube, so if you're waiting. Yeah, do you hear me? One, two, one, two, I one, can two. hear you very yeah. well, Melissa. Can you hear okay? So just to let you know, the matches will start in about 10 minutes time. If you're tuning in on YouTube, maybe you're fighting tomorrow. Best of luck to you. And we will be back with you in about 10 minutes time.
Well, hello and a very warm welcome to you. As you can see, we're in Le Valois. We're in Paris and we're delighted that you can join us wherever you are in the world. Really delighted you can be here. It's time for the Grand Prix and it's time to enjoy 240 of the world's best fighters gathered here for your entertainment. And in terms of entertainment, they are fighting for the ranking points on the path to Paris. And I hope you can just about hear us. It's Plenty loud here, but the fighters will be nice and loud as well. As you can see, the menu of choice there, the under-49s, the under-48s, and we are in just a few moments' time. A field of world and Olympic champions everywhere you look. Also, when I look to my right in the World Taekwondo broadcast team, we now have Milica Juricic. A warm welcome to you. Thank you, John. I'm really happy to be here now with you. I think we're delighted as well. We have a real expert for once, so more than happy to have the double Olympic champion on board. If you know her as Milica Mandic, well, recently married to Marco. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I think this is the new role for me, but my love and passion for this sport is the same. It's really, I am enjoying to watch all these athletes on their way to Paris 2024, and I'm expecting some really good fights. Well, we're expecting it as well. The fighters are, of course, getting ready. And I'm sure you are as well. You saw the menu of choice as to who's coming up. Well, from our double Olympic champion expert view from Milica Juricic, we have Panipak Wongpatinaki of Thailand, the Olympic champ, going against Korea's Bora Kang. You just about see, as you see the referee, Susanna Hoyd. She's making her way into the center. And Milica, in terms of this one, obviously, you know what it's like to, to win that Olympic title. But for Pani Pack, it's about business as usual, starting again. Yes, of course, it's, it's hard again to start from the zero, but it's interesting, 49 category here is the only category with all four Olympic medalists. And now we have the gold medalist now in semi-finals. So she's a top athlete, of course. And speaking of top athletes, just to give you a little insight, Malicia was diligently studying all of that. That was a good fact to drop in there. I like that one. Start them early with some good ones. Who can find the good ones on the way through? Will it be Bora Kang? Will it be Panapak Wong Patanake? And of course, well for the Korean, she'll be very familiar with Panipak, training a lot together in Korea, training a lot together in Thailand. If you've ever had the misfortune of training with the Thailand team, very tough indeed. Yeah, I think this is the fourth time they meet each other three times Penny Pack won, so this is the new opportunity for Bora Kang. Big time. And of course, Bora Kang, you may remember, she broke her jaw in the Grand Slam back in Wuxi. She had very serious surgery. She came back, financed by her father. And Kang Hodon is the coach in the corner, so you know what it's like to have a father figure in your coaching corner. Important to of have course. that bond. Of course, it's really important to, to have someone you trust behind your back, but it's amazing with this is family business. <laughs> <laughs> and it'll be down to business in a few moments as well. Of course, this is day one of three. And as you can hear, the finals are coming. Good evening. We will now start the, the first semi-final of the day in the women's category under 49 kilograms. You can just about see Panipak Wong Patanaki sliding off to the left here with her coach, Che Young Suk, getting ready. Practicing a little bit of stretching. She's got super flexibility. Yeah, she's really flexible. Her le legs are so long and the technique is so long. I think that with Boraka, it will be maybe easier to fight from the distance. A good point. Will she be able to take that on board? Rank number one. Che Young Suk ranking nicely in the style there. Loving the green t-shirt and the green box to go with it. But will it be a gold medal at the end of this one? From Korea, Bora Kang. Well, there's the route through against Morocco and Croatia. Two rounds to zero. Hasn't dropped around yet. Can Bora Kang do something about it? Well, there's a documentary crew following her in the hope that she qualifies for the Olympic Games. You've had this pressure, you've had this feeling. 
it's so important to try and be confident and, and relax if it's possible against Pani Pag. Well, of course, you know, she's a tough fight, a fighter. It's all experience, but when you're in semi-final, obviously, you want to win this fight. You're going to win to the final. And it will be, I think, her first final ever in Grand Prix if she wins this fight. Yeah, as you say, the first final opportunity for Bora Khan. Yeah. She looks confident from here. You can feel it from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we are ringside in Paris, wherever you're joining us from. Delighted that you're here. Delighted that Taekwondo is back. We had many years to wait. And Susanna Boyd doesn't have much longer to wait now. First round in the offing. If you're totally new to the sport, welcome on the Olympic Channel. Good to have you with us. And it's best two out of three rounds. So up to two will do. And it's a different protector system this time, different PSS. Yes, yeah, different PSS, different rules. We all need to adapt, but we all need to enjoy also. Wise words. Who's going to be smiling at the end of this one? Panipak, as you mentioned, the longer leg, the taller of the two. Bora Khan. Up on her toes already, trying to use that Korean style footwork to set a bit of a rhythm here. But Panipak, Wong Patanaki almost taking that front leg to the yeah. face, and the coach is throwing the card up. Well, we'll see. It was a good attack, yes, from, from Bora Khan, but video replay now will tell us all. It will indeed tell us all. And as you said about looking confident, you, you called it, you've got to go for it. What, what, you've got to give Panipak something to think about. Of course, you have nothing to lose. You're in semi-final, you have secured the bronze medal, and you're fighting with the best in this category for now. So you need to go for it. You need to listen, to be focused, and just uh, try all your best techniques. And will it be one of the best techniques? You can just see over the shoulder there in the back if there's any connection to the face, then it will score. And Kang Ho Dong, well, this is what they're looking at here, Melitza. What do you think? Oh, I think it was a face kick. Okay, I would agree with you. The grimace on the face of Pani Pak you, looks... You can hear the, the audience, they're applauding, so three points for Bora Khan. Good decision from coach. Good job, Dad. Dad-daughter combination fighting fit here. Borakan, good start, and she's going forward again. Panipak trying to use that front leg to chase around. Doesn't like to have to come from behind. Back leg swinging a miss. Trying to find the distance so far. She's managing the distance really good. She's going forward and backwards, so I think it's far hard for Panipak just to, to be close to her. Yeah, and as you would know if your fighters at home, it's the kicks that you miss, which I often did, are the most tiring. You swing and a miss, it's emotionally difficult, and she's had five or six attempts now, has the tie in blue. Yeah, 3-1 for Borakang, it was a nice punch kick. Yeah, lovely punch on the way through. Good chop kick to the head, gives Panipak something to think about as we're into the last minute of this opening round. I think Bora is putting pressure on, really. You can see she's managing fights really good. She's not giving Panipak just to, to, to use her long legs. And as you see that, they love the little step around the, the yeah. move here. Just steps yeah. around the corner and steps in to a 5-1 lead in this first period. That was a good kick from the inside. I think she used that small space between, between two of them. Yep, hard to fit the long legs into the small space as we it's go It's hard, to yeah, it's hard with the long legs. It likes to manage clinch five, really. Almost going to the head there. That's just very close indeed. No calls from the coaches. The referee will close. give the gam jump. Very close. And we will see a play from the Korean coach this time. 15 seconds left in the first round. And just again to mark your card as we see the video replay card. You have to win two of the three rounds. But and it is a good start for Bora. I Very think. good. I think she's just managing the end, the distance, and the, the court really good. She's using her, her steps all the time, and I think it's confusing Panipak a little bit. Well, if you can't convince them, confuse them. And it's certainly been good work so far from the Korean. And the coach is just taking the chance here to keep giving encouragement. 
we wait for the pronouncement here. Is she out? I think she's out, yeah. It was a good call from the judge, but we'll see in a second. We surely will. And if you're new to Taekwondo, if you step out of the mat, it's a gam jump, which is a penalty. You can get that for falling, for running away, for blocking with your legs. So lots of penalty points. If you're also new to it, these little sensor socks, if they hit to the body, you're going to get points. You get extra points for kicking to the head. But it's not a maths lesson. You can relax as the headshot oh, again comes I, in, Melitza. Amazing chop kick, yes. Strike in the first second, really, after the, after the break. Well, the clock ticks down. Last 10 seconds. Borakan steps round the corner nicely again, jamming the distance, avoids the long legs of Panipak, and she will take that first round. Now, as a start, Milica, it's not going to get much better than that. Yeah, this is amazing for Bora. I think maybe Panipak did not expect this from the from the start. She surprised her in the beginning. I think not a lot of players uh, go with head kick from the beginning, and I think she is a little bit confused but yeah we can see it was amazing kick really from the start amazing but she has her second round we know this is not finished yep certainly not finished but the speedy start from Borakan and she bored her way through the defense there of Panipak and really good footwork as well yeah footwork is amazing and good block we saw just when she tried with back kick to the face good block and just good covering all the time Now, Bora can, can she get herself, as you said, into her first ever Grand Prix final? She's a tall on a order. good start, really, on a good start. A good start indeed, as we start up the second round. You see the athletes fixing the head guards and body protectors. They have electronic sensors in them. And if you hit with good contact and impact, you will score. There's an attempted head kick from Panipak, well blocked. Panipak, of course, the athlete in blue. Bora can. And she's in red back leg turning kick, batters off the protector, but no score. I think Panipak knows now that she needs to put the pressure on and to attack at, at least the first minute just to make some points, just to be more confident, maybe. Yeah, as you say, confidence certainly on the red side of the ring. There we go. Oh, that was a good head kick. Maybe after Kalio, I'm not sure, but now coach doesn't have a card, so <laughs> he cannot complain. But he will anyway, as he should. <laughs> but not much to complain about now for Panipak. Three to the good, and there's the back leg turning kick. There's a call from the Korean coaching corner. Watch the back leg. But there's the back leg of Borakan. Can she find the target? Still in this one. I think she needs to just think about, yeah, she, she's trying to do all, all the things together again, but maybe some new tactic now because Panipak is a smart fighter. <laughs> she knows how to block. Exactly. It's hard to surprise someone three times. That front leg chop kick has been blocked now by Panipak, and she's in the ascendancy coming forward to the head as well. The TIE fighter raises the video review card, and Che Young Suk will play it. Much better from Thailand now. Yeah, much better now. I think that first shock <laughs> is finished, and now in the second round, you can see the real Panipak. We are indeed seeing the real Panipak, an Olympic champion for a reason. I'm very impressed so far with the video replays that were being provided here by the organizing committee in Paris. Venue's lovely, isn't it? Really nice. Yeah, venue is really nice. Kind of the right size for Taekwondo. Yeah, 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 I agree. When it's too big, <laughs> we are all, all around the, the gym, and now spectators are on one place, so it's good. It is good, but will it be a good call from Chi Young Suk? I think this is a, this is a headshot, really, yeah. 6 0 for Panipak, and I think this will be a problem now for Bora Kang if, he does, if she doesn't change anything. Well, she doesn't have her problems to seek as it goes from 3 to 6. Now, stick or twist, do you give it all or see it into the third round? Has to try and get some momentum back. Borakan coming forward, trying to create the gam jumps. And Susanna Boyd giving it the other way around. Seven up the score and it's bubbling away nicely. 
Yeah, she will not surrender. You can see she's aggressive. She wants to attack. She wants to make points. But with Panipak 7-0 in 20 seconds, it's not easy. A turning kick it is indeed not easy against the Thai fighter. She's got the power and she's got the measure of Bora Kang. She got shook and shocked in the first round. A normal order restored. A nod there from Bora Kang to say, OK, that's plenty. I think now it's a different situation. Panipak is more confident. She made two headshots. It will be hard for Bora, I think, in the third round. But we'll see, you know, 1-1. And we will get to see as we see a little replay here, but talk to us a little bit about what it's like to not fight the scoreboard, but actually fight the person, to actually give them something to think about. Well, I always like that because sometimes even if you're losing, you want to show something. You know, if, even though maybe I know I cannot win this fight, I want to show her my power, my strength. I will kick, I will kick in the meat, I want to be strong. It doesn't have to be point, but I know in my mind that she will remember me that I'm strong. And she needs to do that because if you want to make an impression, you need to work hard. And even though sometimes you cannot win, she will remember you by your strength, your steps or something. So I think that is important for me. You, you cannot surrender. This is a big stage, really. No surrender. The biggest of stages here in Paris. Well, from the Grand Paris to the Grand Palais in 2024. But it's all about this third round. Good start there from Panipak Wompatanaki holding the center, but Bora Kang using the shoulders again nicely, controlling that distance. Hard to choose between the two. Good blocking from both. And of course, if you are new to the sport, you've got to block with your arms as well. And both have done extremely well at that. Yeah, yeah, we can see good blocks, good steps, but still 0 0 after 30 seconds. This will be interesting. Very, very interesting. A spot in the Olympics is on the horizon for both fighters, but a spot in the Grand Prix final is the thing that's in their mind. Pani Pack focused, tries with a little punch in the inside, no pop on it. Yeah, it was not good enough. I think it needs to be a little bit stronger. Yeah, she needs the strength as they go into that open stance again. Bora Kang happy to block it. Both clashing legs. A minute to go in this third round. Reaching in with the punch. Back leg turning oh, kick lands nicely. Back leg was amazing. She used her, you know, clinch distance for back kick and 2-0 for her. 2-0 becomes 2-1 because of that gam jump, the penalty. Finally poised. And 50 seconds too long to defend. Now the pressure is on. Last 50 seconds. Panipak needs at least one punch at one, one country just, uh, just to be tied. Yeah, she's attacking, but for now, no score. I think it needs to be a little bit more stronger. Well, the strength needed as Bora Kang steps forward. What role will Susanna Boyd have to play in this one? The referee keeping a close eye. Big back leg turning kick there. Two times in the same place. That was amazing, really. That's why she's the champion. That is why she's the champion. Will she get a chance to go for another Grand Prix gold? Bora Kang has covered herself in great credit, tries the head kick, the Korean hits the deck. What will Susanna Boyd give the gam jump? She's taking her time now a little bit just to relax. And the long walk home, and she'll be going back with a medal. A superb effort from Bora Kang, but Panipak won't pat an it. Good use of the front leg, closes the door. Couple of seconds, there could be something from Bora Kang. But the gam jump will make it unassailable. And sailing off into the final, the reverse turning kick spins round. But Panipak won't patanak it. True to form, Melitza was shocked in the first round, but responded, as you say, like the champion she is. Yeah, you can see she was really focused until the end. In the last 15 seconds, two points. She, she tried a lot of times, and then in the last 15 seconds, she overturned the result, and you can see from like 2-1 to 9-2 in 10 seconds, we can see why she is Olympic champion, really. And for me, Bora Kang was amazing. Today, she tried a lot of times.